Hey everybody, it's Mike here from RCMC, and uh, today we have here a 1970 Hemi Cuda Proline body. And uh, I know I've done about 20 bodies now, and I haven't made a video yet about how I do it. Um, and I thought, what better than to pick a body where it's got a little more detail than the average truck or car. Um, with regards to that, I'm talking about details like hood scoops or um, an engine sticking out of the hood. Um, you know, you can do uh, different, you know, just different things with this with this vehicle. And there's so many intric intricate details that I can actually uh, give this thing a really cool paint job. Uh, so I'm going to kind of go through the, uh, go through this with you guys and uh, let you know how I do this. <clears throat> so start off the tools you're going to need. Uh, to me, a paint here is the best quality you're going to find. Um, we've got Pactra as well. But uh, definitely sticking with like a Tamiya, uh, if you can see that there. But Tamiya paints are, are really the highest durability I've found yet. Um, and then we have Spaz Stick, okay? And that's not a bad company either, but like I said, the, the definitely the Tamiya was the, the best durability that we found. Um, when it comes to details, um, you really want to pay attention to the small details because it just makes the flawless paint job in the end. Um, so we're going to start off with showing you guys how I do certain things and the tools I use. We have here is a hole, it's a, it's actually a tool that will cut the plastic um, to the size you need it. What you do is you line this plastic body up with your, with your truck and you're going to mark your holes for your body mounts and clean them up. Um, once you've drilled your holes, we're going to clean them up on the inside with a, a Dremel tool and um, then it's on to uh, putting the actual stickers in for the windows. And it's so important, guys, to get those stickers in properly because I've seen so many paint jobs where, and I've done my first paint job, where you don't get the corners tight, um, the paint bleeds into the windows, and then you've got an issue. So very important. Um, with regards to paint, I like to do, if there's any small details, like trim work maybe, that's like silver, um, really important to try and get those out of the way first tape them off um, and then like I said you go in with uh, something like this and uh, you paint these pieces separate I like to paint uh, I'm going for a flat black look so I've only painted the inside so far eventually I'm going to be painting the outside as well once I have this mounted to the truck or to the car sorry um, we're going to basically flat black the whole hood um, just like the old cars used to have you know so we're trying to stick with that theme um, not sure what color I'm going to be going with this yet, um, but I will be adding it in the video. So, um, father-in-law, he had uh, this exact same car, same year, 1970, uh, and it was uh, metallic blue. And uh, so I think I might do that for him, uh, just because, you know, he, he loved that car and uh, he hated giving it up. So I figure you know, maybe I'll do something that he'll, he'll like. So... With no further ado, I'll show you guys a little bit what I do before I touch anything, okay? So I started off here painting the bumper. Anything that I know with a sticker that is going to, like, because there's a bumper sticker that's going to go on here. It's silver. But as you bump into stuff with these trucks, it's going to rub off. So I like to make sure that I have certain spots on the truck that get banged up enough. Uh, painted underneath as well as a sticker on top. So if, it, if the sticker does come off, it's not going to be a big deal. So with that, um, next what we're going to be doing is actually taping this truck off to do the black on the hood, on the inside first. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through that with, go through that with you guys and uh, let you see how that goes. So let me jump right into it and uh, I'll just take the camera here and uh, set it up for you guys. Okay, so here we have it at the Dodge Challenger, or the Dodge uh, Challenger. All right, sorry, it's the Hemi Cuda actually. Sorry guys. Um, so first I'm going to actually flip this over here and we're going to tape off our lines for the hood because we want to make sure that we tape off the lines and then we're going to use uh, newspaper to uh, actually mask off the areas that we, uh, we don't want any overspray on. So.
So, there you have it guys. Right now, we're all set for the front. All I gotta do now is take my newspaper, I'm gonna line it up with the lines I've made here, tape off the whole back of the vehicle, and we're all set. So there you have it. Okay everybody, so this is what we got here. If you can see that, we've got the hood totally taped, uh, taped right off, ready to shoot. Um, we've got our newspaper as a backer here, so we don't get any overspray on the rest of the body. And that's really all there is to it, guys. So, with that, I want you guys to uh, make sure that you, like I said, tape off the areas nice and clean. After you guys go through taping it, double check all your tape. Rub it around. Make sure that you've got all your seams really good because that's where it's going to bleed. So um, give it a, a couple layers. Keep it a few, about 10 inches away. And when you're spraying, I want you to spray light coats. Each coat, I want you to you know, spend 10 minutes waiting for the next coat to dry to get the next coat on. It's really important that you guys take your time with this so you don't get any runs. Um, I've seen so many paint jobs where they've just been done so, you know, so quick that it just runs, you know. So, really important. Take your time, guys. Uh, give it some, you know, 10 times dry time. Uh, at least three to four coats is uh, mandatory for this kind of stuff. And that'll really give you a good bond. So, with that, we're going to take it outside. We're going to shoot it. And we'll bring it back to you guys and you'll see. Um, we're going to be shooting this... Uh... 1970s Hemi Cuda with uh, orange because I like the old uh, Dukes of Hazard style colors. I was gonna go with the blue, but uh, just I uh, just thought you know I got something that's really gonna stand out in the video. So So there you have it guys, that's one coat. Gonna take that inside, let that dry. We're gonna bring it back out. We're gonna shoot it again. All right everybody, so here is coat number three coming down. Here we have the finished product. Um, this build wasn't too bad. Um, I did what I was going to say. Uh, I did what I was going to do, and that was I painted the inside and outside because I wanted to have a flat black. So I actually took, um, you know, I masked off the area, and so even if it, you know, chips from, uh, you know, driving around or anything like that, it's not going to affect the paint job. So you'll still have the black underneath. Um, other than that, it went really well. Um, I did my own little touches on stickers and stuff like that. So, show you guys here. See, so we did the looks pretty good, nice and clean. Hood, it's not totally dry, but you'll see that it's going to be a flat when it's done. So, here we have the side, the side uh, stickers there. And the same on this side. See so focus there. There we go. So that's it, guys. Three coats of paint. Um, doing your details, like in the front bumper here. I didn't use the sticker for the bumper because I noticed that those really chip away really quickly, or they just the sticker just come off. So I like to make sure that you know I'll use my um, other stickers, but for bumper I try to like just actually paint the bumper. So. Good tip. Uh, so if you're bashing or whatever you're doing, you're not uh, you know you're not worried about scratching the, the stickers off. Hope you guys like it and uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Thanks a lot.